when we have women in technology, they have a phenomenal uh, analysis. And even the research will show that the way women's brains are wired, there is more analysis to connecting. So we see uh, there is a, a natural path for women to assume technology positions. The new technology at hand uh, affords women more opportunity to apply their intuitiveness, their capability, their competency, and create technology that is not only suitable for an organization, but all people within that organization as well. And so it is very, very important that we bring in women into the technology so that they're a part of the infrastructure that is going to go forward and be a part of our society in, into the future years. So I'm the Chief Business Technology Officer uh, here for Minnesota Information Technology Services. And in that role, I provide technology solutions for boards, commissions, and councils here in the state of Minnesota that need technology. They might be a little bit smaller in scale, uh, large in mission. And so we provide um, cost-affordable technology solutions to serve their missions. And now ready to assume the position as a Director of Joint Staff at the Minnesota Joint Force Headquarters. So the Director of Joint Staff provides oversight to one of the most um, significant capabilities that the Guard provides to the state, and that is domestic operations, to be there to be always ready for any emergency that arises within the state, and it's become very, very important. Uh, we've seen that time and time again in the last five years, whether it's fires, flooding, uh, hurricanes, the Guard is getting called out to support state domestic operations on a more regular basis facing uh, greater and more complex um, incidents and events. And so as the director, we'll be in charge of more coordination, more collaboration to prepare for these emergency responses. The interesting thing about the military is we are compelled to advance as individuals in all aspects, physically, mentally, even spiritually, and certainly as leaders. And so whether you're male or female, you're put into the, uh, the training ground that this is what you will pursue, that there is, a, and there's always been a need. And I think I've all along just focused on the roles that supported and took care of a need. I don't think I internalized I'm going to be a general and that was the only thing. It was more contextual. I'm a leader and I want to keep improving the organization and the people and so this is a path that I must follow within this construct. It's surreal. The day that I finally received the order was, you know, I was taking my dog to the veterinarian clinic and trying to figure out how to make sure that Zoe got to gymnastics and Jonah got to soccer. And so and I think it's important to um, embrace the opportunity, but also understand there's the day-to-day -to, -day to take care of, to take care of the family, to do a good job uh, in the guard and also in work. Uh, and to take care of, you know, there's still a lot of technology needs and there's still administrative details to take care of. So it's been amazing, uh, but also trying to uh, be pretty thoughtful about uh, the new path forward.